Hi guys, welcome back to the Drive Life channel. And in today's video, we're featuring a vehicle that I think has probably been in 80% of my videos so far, but I've never really talked about it. We're going to be taking you, well, taking a look at the um, our Volkswagen Transporter here as Bob jumps out. Uh, we're going to be giving the cold start because this thing hasn't been started in a couple of months. Um, we're just doing the winter prep now uh, before we get sort of the main cold weather and the snow, sort of January, March. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look and talk a little bit about it because it's um not so standard okay then so in order to give you guys the best information about this thing um i thought i'd get you uh the main man himself who is in charge of it um he's a encyclopedic knowledge of anything old so um yeah he's old. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is the um t25 camp band that we've had for years and years and years 13 years I think yeah 13 is, years yeah, yeah. Um, it's uh, 1989 um, originally it was a commercial panel van I think from Northern Ireland and um, it's been converted with a Westphalia pop top um, and it's got a double double rock and roll bed in there um, when we got it it had a, a straight 1.9 diesel engine um, which had been swapped. It was originally a 1.6 turbo diesel, but I think that had, I don't know, gone bang or something, and it had been replaced with a 1.9 um, from a Seat. I'm not quite, quite sure what Seat it was, but it was a Seat. Um, and the first couple of years or so it was fine. We were driving it about, but I kind of thought that it needed a bit more oomph. So, um, been a 1.9 Volkswagen diesel, I thought we could easily turbocharge that. So after a lot of hunting around on YouTube and asking various people, I got some bits and pieces together and a manifold and um, and a turbo. I think a turbo was like from a Golf originally. Um, but when we took it apart, I found out that it was a hybrid of um, two turbos. So we, so we managed to make one decent turbo out of that. Um, that was a bit of a steep learning curve. Um, and bolted it all on. Um, I had to have a, a downpipe from the manifold to the silencer, which is like, it's only quite small because obviously the engine's in the back. So, um, local company in Worcester did that for me. Um, that was quite good fun. I drove it all the way there without, without an exhaust pipe on it. It was just coming straight out of the manifold. Um, and that seems to have settled down and worked okay. Um, so, that's running all right. Um, I suppose the only thing else that's um, been done to it, it's got Mercedes alloy wheels, so slightly bigger wheels. They were low profile, um, but I've actually put bigger, bigger tyres to gear it up really to help it when it's um, when it's on the motorway, and uh, yeah, it's a bit more comfortable as well. Performs a lot better, um, and. Um, yeah, when it says it's doing 60, it's actually doing 60, not 55, which is quite good. So, um, so that's helped a lot. Uh, what else have we done? It's generally kept it going, really. Uh, it's been on a lot of trips, is not it? All, yeah, all around it's been over the place in it. I mean, it looks probably not concourse, as you can see, but it it does what it's supposed to do, and that's go off on camping trips and. Um, it doesn't generally let you down. I know we've been all over the place, haven't we? France, everywhere, and and um, obviously down at Cornwall, West Wales. You know, it just load it all up with crap, and off you go. It's been great. So, um, it's just MOTs expired actually from the thirty first of December. Oh no, thirty for November. So, um, I was just sorting out the odometers. Um, stopped working, but. They all do that evidently. So I'm just taking all that apart and sorting that out. I've mended it now, it's just a case of pushing the there's a little worm screw on the end of um, a shaft there and the gear comes away so you just basically gotta push that back in place and that's it, job done. But it was a bit of a nightmare behind there. I don't know what happened to it before but it was a bit broken and whatever you so I'm just cleaning it all up and putting it back together. But yeah, no it's um just prepping it ready for <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to go somewhere next year. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, once, I was just giving it, it a wash to get all, to get all the algae off and um, 
and put a cover on it and cover it up. I think it's going to snow on Monday. Is it? Oh, yeah. Excellent. We'll get a. Uh, so yeah, that's about it, really. So, how long has it been since this thing was last started? Um, probably. Well, I can't remember. Actually. So, <laughs> I would have thought September, maybe. So three months. We've been sat still. Yeah. So um, yeah, let's give it a go. Hopefully. Let's give it a go. See Hopefully. if she starts. <laughs> see if it will or not. <laughs> so this is it's essentially sort of pretty much straight pipe, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, DIY turbo camper van. So yeah, let's do it. Okay. Okay then guys, so as you saw there, she um, started with a little bit of persuasion, a nice little cough of, um, doing a bit of a light test here, cough of um, three months worth of crap inside the engine, straight out, so um, yeah, so as you can see, she's a, she's a good old girl, um, definitely a labour of love, um, she's left us stranded a few times, but it's sort all part of the family, and um, there's many happy memories. Um, of this bust so uh, yeah thanks for watching a little bit different today um, let me know if you'd like a bit more of an in-depth um, tour of the truck uh, sorry the, the bus even and uh, yeah I'll see you in the next video cheers <laughs>